Money for nothing. Banned from the Canadian airwaves. That's how the headlines read. The Dire Straits song. Off the album. Brothers in Arms. Banned. Banned by the Canadian Broadcast Standards Council. The CBSC. As a result of one complaint. This from a member of the LGBT community. Hmm. But wait, there's something very strange going on here. The wording of the complaint, the wording, there's some very strange words in here. Twice the complainant mentions the word air. A song was aired, he says. And then at the end, such discriminatory remarks to be played on air. But this is an insult, of course, to Montserrat and the uh, Air Studios, of course, where the, where the album was recorded. In fact, the first digital album ever, right? But that studio, of course, along with a large part of Montserrat, was utterly destroyed in a volcano. What an insult. I don't know. Bad choice of words there. Or was it? Checking the complaint again, we have absolutely no valid reason for such discriminatory marks to be played on here. Marks? That's a strange word to use. But, ah, is that a slap in the face, a backhander to Mark Knopfler? I wonder. It gets stranger and stranger. Or was that a tangential reference to Karl Marx? And it could well be. Take, uh, take a look at Capital, Section 4. The fetishism of commodities and the secrets thereof. That's the title. Let me read it to you. A commodity appears, at first sight, a very trivial thing and easily understood. Its analysis shows that it is, in reality, a very queer thing, abounding in metaphysical subtleties and theological niceties. Ah, so now I think we're getting closer to the truth. So let's get down to the metaphysics of the album. First of all, dire straits. Dire straits, that's like awful straits. That's, that's anti-straight, that's pro gay and then you got uh, an anagram of money for nothing forget homo ninny hmm what the complainant is really complaining about is the use of the word faggot which uh, appears uh, three times in the song we find that the the faggot uh, has his own jet plane very environmentally unfriendly I would suggest and also, of course, he burns a lot of jet fuel, and we know what jet fuel means in the homosexual community. It's a highly flammable kind of homosexual, a flamer, another F word, not mentioned in the text, but two Fs. Oh, wait a minute. Just look at the album cover. That national guitar, the F-hole guitar, two F-holes, facing each other across a fingerboard. Aha! Now look at them yo-yos. That's the way you do it. 